Hi everyone and welcome to the second episode of Retro Time Machine. Today we're going to talk about Lost in Space. Now keep in mind that we don't go through the history of, this isn't a history of Lost in Space, this is just two guys who were fans when they were kids just talking about their memories of Lost in Space. I've got Leon Fish with me. I love Lost in Space. I loved it. I loved the people. I loved the silver suits. I loved all the machinery. I, I love the aliens. I, you know, I know. I, the- I think nothing gets nothing gets past the jet pack. I, I <laughs> love that. I love the jet pack. I love the chariot. I love the Jupiter too. I loved it all. But of course, I probably loved the robot the most. I always wanted a oh, robot. Me too. That's what I think robots should look like. You know how they're, they're trying to make and them all humanoid fight. and everything? No one wants a robot like a human. I, I, I look out the window, I see humans all the time. I want a robot that looks like the robot from Lost exactly. in Space. Exactly, and talks yeah. like the robot too. And does yeah. all that crazy stuff, although it would be handy to have a robot that could walk upstairs. I must say that, okay, because <laughs> I think that was maybe just the fatal flaw because when you think about it, Although some people think the Earth is completely flat, but like when you look at it, it, it is. It isn't. At some point, you're going to have to step up. So well, that's right, because he used to catch that. Li- you know how they've got that little elevator in there <laughs> in the yes. Jupiter Two. Well, that's used why to they have the elevators. Elevator <gasps> it was the first. It was the first um, handicap um, access vehicle oh, come ever on, made. Come on, ever come made. On. How's that for a benchmark? And they 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 put a, a ramp. On the Jupiter too. Remember, every time, every time the robot was there, he'd go up the ramp. <laughs> yeah, it was a huge ramp too. Uh, if you look at it, it never fit inside the inside the um, flying saucer. But interestingly, I do have, and I haven't watched it for a long time, but I do have the original pilot, black and white, and it's quite long. I think it's longer than the episode, and it's interesting because it it's interesting for a few things because it, it seems like it started off as being more serious than it sort of ended yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Like and the also, first season, most of the first season was like that. Quite serious, yeah. And and, and the thing too, Guy Williams who played um, um, <laughs> the, the, the Professor Robinson. Guy. Is that what it was? Professor. I wish I was a professor. John. He, John. So he's actually he was actually a really big star. He'd just come off um, Zorro. Zorro, yeah. And he was a big star, and he thought he thought this was going to be his vehicle, you know. Yeah, and and yeah. then he and then they they give him his wife June Lockhart, who was a Hollywood star, but she was quite old. Lassie, she was. Uh, yeah, but she was quite old, wasn't was she? she? I, think she's I don't a little, know. She I looked older she, than him, but I don't know. I I've got a feeling it was. So that was the first thing, right? Second thing was that um, I think in the pilot, the doctor's a stowaway. No, there's Dr. no Doctor Smith in the pilot. No, there is. No, there is. no. In the original pilot, there's no Doctor Smith. So what they did was they said uh, Irwin Allen, who was a producer yeah, and creator, yeah, yeah, yeah. said Just, there's something missing. Disruptor. He needs yeah, a disruptor. We need a yeah. villain every week, and that's when Doctor Smith came in. And when he oh. came in. He was really serious to start off with. He, he yeah, was yeah, just yeah, like yeah, a real yeah, yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. Um, he, yeah. the actor Jonathan Harris, said, yeah. um, "My character's not going to last if I'm like this all the time." So he made Doctor Smith the funny the guy, the campy sort of yeah, campy. The campy sort so that was a big thing too. Guy Williams yeah. didn't like how the campy stuff was going. Well, that but stole uh, the show. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he was actually upstaged by a robot, a little boy. And a, a, a campy old man. Yeah. So he's sitting there going, like, well, this is my life. Well, they don't upstage anyone. They <laughs> like, if you go on a date, right, say you were going on yeah. a date, you, you met this girl and you're sitting there and she's, or speed dating, for example. Yeah. Speed dating. Speed you're dating. You're sitting there, you're trying to impress this girl. So yeah. you've got 15 minutes, you're trying to impress her. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, you yeah. go and then yeah. it. A robot, a little boy, and a campy old man come up, up and sit down and start talking to her. Who's who's she going to go out with? Yeah, and after an hour, you're still waiting to jump in. She's going, wait, just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. I'm talking to the robot. <laughs> He's really cool. That hat thing, that thing with the thing, that's really cool. Every, but every time you approach, he's going, danger, danger. 
<laughs> but it, there's, it, I mean, there's so many things. So it 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 only went for three seasons. So yeah. that's interesting. It was supposed so, to go for a fourth. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't yeah. know. They didn't know yeah. right until yeah. they had to. Um, well, I, I it's think, money. It's always money, isn't it? It's like oh, it's too expensive. And also, I think the audience was turning into. It basically morphed into a children's show. And they weren't interested in, in in that, so they couldn't sell the advertising or whatever. And but three seasons—that's interesting because you think Grey's Anatomy. I was just reading the other day; that's gone for it's twenty years. That's been running twenty series. Yeah, but so if you, it, it, you know, it, it, it's interesting, isn't it? But but if Grey's you look Anatomy, at Lost in Space, yeah, but whoever talks about Grey, no one gives a you know, know no it. one cares about. But Grey, if you look at Lost, Lost in Space, everyone talks about it. People if you look, look at Lost in Space. They they say it went for three seasons, but each season is like over thirty episodes. Yeah, that so was, it's, it's about it's over eighty episodes all up. And I would say, I mean, I don't know for sure. I think Gilligan's Island is the one, or something that it's never stopped running, or something. The repeats just go over and over and over. And, you know, it's always there's always it's, it's always playing somewhere in the world. And why not? What a great um, what a great concept. But you well, know what? Then, I, then they they made. Remade Lost in Space into Ugh. a movie, which was shit. Then they made it into a Netflix series Ugh. where Dr. Smith was female, which was just, just can't even watch it. And you can't, um, you can't, you can't remake Dr. No. Uh, uh, Lost in Space. Like Get Smart or, 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 you know, those things can't be made again. They're just no. like. T- it's just lightning in a bottle. I, they're almost timeless in the sense you could watch them, I think. I don't know, maybe, but, like, you could never replicate them. They're, 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 just, too, they're just too good. But you know what I loved about it as well was Erwin Allen was the producer, as you said before. And, of course, they, they must have had this big warehouse with all these props yeah. And they just reuse them through all. That's so in, right. in Lost in Space, this is famous. Um, in, uh, and uh, but I actually remember seeing this and going, "Fuck me, that that actually is." And it was the sea monster from, um, what is it? Um, Voyage, Voyage to the, bottom, to the of, bottom of the sea. Yeah, the sea monster there. And then suddenly, it's um, I don't know which is first. Actually, oh no, it would have been in, in Voyage. Voyage is first. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you see it in the, <clears> the <throat> Jupiter Two is going through the. This, this big monster in space. Oh, but, but it's not only in one episode. It's in about like, you know, so, so what oh, they'll is do it? is they'll have a main monster for that for that episode, mm. but then when they have another episode, you know how sometimes they go into a cave and there's all like monsters yeah. in the cave or or So they reuse it again. Yeah, which, which you know, you sort of make sense. Well, and, Owen, and that, and that uh, sort of goes towards the theory that it was costing money because if it but was. But Owen Allen was notoriously cheap. He was. Uh, I, I was just reading. Um, I was just reading. He would walk on set, and every time people would be, "Hi Owen, hi Owen," all he'd do was just point at his watch. He'd just keep tapping his watch <laughs> in front of Don't everyone. Don't talk to me. Yeah, Don't and, talk and to me. turn around, spin around on his heels, and walk back out. Wow, that is so. That, that is so cool. But um, what? Uh, what I love was this. I read this story, or maybe I saw it on YouTube. I can't remember. It was two of them. It wasn't um, Billy Mummy, which, by the way, Billy Mummy uh, is it? Oh, is it Mummy? So this, we had this, we've had this argument before. So that's why he didn't change his name because it was Billy Mummy. He would change his name, wouldn't he? You wouldn't. It's Billy Mummy. So it's that's, Mummy. Yeah. So that makes it all, all right. Well, anyway, so I don't think it was him, but it was a couple of the cast members. They. They were going to play a, jo- a joke on uh, Roy, who was in the um, robot. He used to do the robot, and he uh, you needed a couple of people to take the top off so he could jump out. Yeah. And so they just left him there, and they went off, and they had this uh, had the break, and they thought oh, that'd be really funny. Just leave him there, and he'd be tapping on it, going "Hey guys, hey!" But anyway, they come back, and there's all this smoke coming out of it, and they go, <laughs> "Oh my god, oh my god, I think we've killed him. It's on fire. We've killed him." They open it up, and there he is, just smoking cigarettes, and going, "All right, we we, we right, we right for another shot." Great, I love and of it. course, um, Dick Tuffeld did the voice of the yeah. robot, and, and in the movie as well, I think, didn't he? They they oh, resurrected yeah, maybe him. He did, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't remember the movie, but his voice was just the best. He used to do um, the voice at the beginning too. Um, Last time we left the Robinsons, that was his voice. And I remember as a kid I used to think, why is the robot telling us what happened last time? Because (laughs) he's the only one who watched. (laughs) He's the only one that remembers. (laughs) He's the only one that remembers. But listen, so the whole thing is, so they're in the the, um, flying saucer, there's some sort of accident uh, and they – Go in and they go bang, you know, bang. Oh, they're going to Alpha Centauri, but um, 
They're out of control, right? Yeah, because but, Dr. Smith is a yeah, stowaway yeah. and he yeah, puts yeah, them yeah. off yeah. balance. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He puts yeah, them yeah. off balance. Yeah, he puts them, yeah, he plays with something. But listen, listen, this is my point. No, just so his what weight. were they doing? His weight. Oh, his weight. So what were they doing? Were they going to repopulate another planet with humans? So if that's the case, you think about it. How can you, re- how can you create a new civilization with two old people? Two young people and two very young people and another old person and a robot. So how would you be able to do that? So would, well, so I don't would, think that's so what would, they were would, doing. <laughs> well, no, but but so Penny and so who would be able to mate with who and how many children could you actually well, produce was, without uh, being inbred? You know, you want to probably would, Don would Don. just have to be the stud. <laughs> He'd have to be the stud. He'd have to like um, Marta. Poor old Marta. She'd be. She, all right, okay. Judy, so Marta. Judy. Judy. Sorry. So Judy pumps out ten babies. Yeah. Penny pumps out ten babies. So that's twenty. And, and then, then they just they, and then, uh, look. So how would it, well, I just don't. Well, I don't there's get a lot of we, aliens. I mean, Doctor Smith. Oh, right. Doctor Smith could have had sex with the green lady. You know oh, the doctors. That, pretty that, handsome. Dr. That is my favorite. I think that's my favorite um, episode. episode because maybe because that just freaked me out so much. Pretty handsome, Doctor Smith. But the and music like, behind it, you know that the music behind it is going. Doo, 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 doo. But that's that so used funny. to freak me out when I was a kid. But that's so and funny. Actually, if you go if you go onto Netflix, yeah, they've got um, all the music. From Lost in Space, like mm. all all the background music from Lost in Space, and yeah. I've been playing that lately. The Green Lady's theme music when I go to sleep, <laughs> I've just been. And now, now I've been having how's dreams. How's that going for you? How's that going for I've you? I've been having dreams. She's at my window. She's yeah, well, at my window. She's going. Duke, Duke. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. Going, well, I'm well, let coming. me tell you. Remember Lost in Smith? Well, uh, let me tell like, you. Let me tell you. I was so poor. I didn't have a color TV. I had a black and white TV, and I only knew she was the Green Lady. When you told me. <laughs> no, you didn't. You've got a um, no, collection no. of Lost in Space, haven't you? No, yeah, yeah, I know, but I never knew she I just assumed she was because yeah, well, it was black and white. I used to watch had it a black and white. white TV back then. We oh, except watched you. It. Except you. No, except but you. I, they call her the green lady, man. Well, she must have been green and it was in a, colour. So, like, so, so the majority of the, in the 70s. We saw yeah. it in the 70s in the reruns because yeah, we were reruns. too young and – 65, yeah. started in 65. We weren't even born in 65, buddy. No, I was born in 65, yeah. Well, yeah. So 65 oh, to 68 so. it ran. And then so uh, I think, what, 80 – so out of the 80-so 80, 80 um, episodes, about 30 of them were black and white. So what's that mean? That's the first – say. So the first That's the first season is season. black and yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first season is black and white. All right, yeah. okay. And then okay. when Batman hit the screens – they, everything had to go colour. Yeah, everything had to go colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that and which was, sense. you know, the colours in Lost in Space. I, well, love I wouldn't know. The I wouldn't know because I had a black <laughs> and white TV. Poor. But you've watched. I watched it with you a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, but not as not as a kid. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. As a kid, I, I don't know what you were doing as a kid, but um, <laughs> the colours, the colours in it are just fantastic. They're just amazing. And that green lady, as you said, yeah, that's yeah. one of the best episodes. Her name so. was Athena, and yeah. she was from a race that used to feed on fuel. So they, fuel. yeah. So what happened was a Jupiter two was heading to a fuel station. There was some yeah. kind of space station floating in the middle of nowhere that yeah. have fuel, and they're heading there to refuel, yeah. and they see all these little dots just scatter on their radar, and they're going, what oh. the hell is that? Oh. And then they land there, and they take what's left of the fuel, and then later on she starts floating around. She's going, Dr. Smith. And they're on a trajectory to Earth. There's been a big argument, massive argument between yeah. everyone. Are we going to go back to Earth or not? And blah, blah, blah. Okay, we decide we're going back to Earth. Everyone's happy. They're going back to Earth. Then the green lady pops up. She oh, hypnotizes no. Smith and gets what? him to eject all their fuel. Oh. And then he's outside. Remember, he's outside floating. He puts on the spacesuit. He's so in love with it. He's outside yeah. floating. And then they say, they say, we've only got enough fuel to go yeah. back to Earth or to go get Smith. 
and oh, and, and, and Don's that's ha- I know, I and know. Don's, Don's hanging there going, well, leave, him, leave, leave him, leave him, him, leave him. I hate him. I hate yeah. him. He deserves it. And then then you hear that sad sort of doc, uh, sad mm. lost in space music, mm. and the mum's going. He's a human being, John. We can't, John, yeah. We can't leave him out there. Yeah. He's a human being. Yeah. I know. I know he's a dickhead, and I know he's old, and but, but I know he's and, and I know an he upstages you. I, I know when we're at the mall, they all run up to him first before they come to you. Uh, I know how much you hate him, but you know what would we'll what get cancelled without him. What would Irwin do? Oh, <laughs> and bring him back bring in. Bring him back and make it quick. <laughs> He's the whole show. <laughs> He's the whole show. <laughs> anyway, no. speaking of that, um, yeah. I, I, I've told you this before, but I, I was watching this interview with Marta Kirsten, who played um, Judy, and she's talking about mm. Dr. Smith, she's talking about Jonathan Harris, how close her and Jonathan Harris were. How, they how used to close? Go, yeah, they have to, used to go for walks together. She wouldn't walks. turn up. Moonwalks. <laughs> Space walks. So it's, but it sounded like she, it, yeah. one of two things. She yeah. either had a crush on him because she said, she actually said, oh, I was this Californian, um, oh, she came from Denmark when she yeah. was young. And she's saying, I was this Californian surfy girl and I met Jonathan and Jonathan was, you know, this man of the world. Man man uh, of the world. (laughs) Um, He opened opened my eyes to the world. He opened a lot of doors for her. Yeah. Doors that she didn't want to open. But No, but she the way she was talking, she was either in love with him back then or they were having an affair. And if they were having an affair... Yeah. And I don't want to start any no. rumours. Well, she's still alive. She's still alive, so be careful. Yeah, or allegedly. But mm. that would just blow my mind. If that happened, that would blow my mind. That watching that, wow. Dr. Smith and Judy. Dr. Smith and – I could imagine Dr. Smith and the bloop, but not yeah. Dr. Smith and Judy. No, I always thought it was going to be Judy and me. That's 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 the way I, th- I thought it was going to pan out. Yeah, but um, I, loved, I loved Judy more than you did. I always No, did. you said you like Penny. Like, yeah, I like, loved Penny too. See, the thing no, with Penny, like Penny was. I don't like Penny. I don't like Penny. Penny was closer to our age. She was still older than us, so we're all older than us, but Penny no. was close. I could identify no, more. But... And Penny was as polite as anything. Even when there's an alien trying to lure her into a cave, she'd say, I'm sorry, sir. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. <laughs> So and you're then, saying, and then there'd be this red alien. So, so hold on. So, what you're saying to me is that, as far as attraction went, when you were 15, a blonde Danish woman. No, I'm talking. Spe- I'm no, not listen. Ta- let me finish. No, let me. Fi- blonde, let me. Uh, no, let me finish. A blonde Danish woman who looked absolutely gorgeous is less appealing than a younger girl with long black hair carrying a monkey. Right? Don't forget the monkey. Yeah, the blue. Uh, the blue. And you're saying to me that, that that's more attractive to you. Yeah, well, so you got it wrong right at the beginning when you said when you were 15. Yeah. I'm talking about when I was eight. Well, oh, eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Eight, 15. Um, that's the same. <laughs> There's a big difference between eight and 15. Is there? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I still liked. I still liked Judy. I, 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 uh, they were both now. gorgeous. They were both beautiful. When, when Penny, I think it was in uh, well, season three. She's about eighteen. As a, I don't know how old she is in the show, but as an actress, she's about eighteen or nineteen yeah. or something. I think she's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The funny thing too is, um, I always used to think um, Don was just a stress head. You know, it's like fuck. It. I mean, who would ever be like him? Who I hated like him. him. And then now I know exactly. I'm like Don now. I'm such yeah. a stress head. Oh, well, you reminded even, me of my dad. I can't even walk out into the street. If I walk in the street, I can find fifty things to get stressed out about. Well, that's, that's the thing. A, you know, and and I, now I'm Don. I turned into Don. Well, that's the thing. When you get to a certain age, everyone is Doctor Smith. <laughs> everyone outside is Doctor Smith. You're in line. Um, at the chemist, yeah, to get your medication. As Doctor, the whole line is full of Doctor Smiths. 
and they're all there, all hanging there, you know, at, at the counter going, oh, dear boy, should I take this this medicine or yeah. should I take that? Oh, I've lost my script. Oh, and you just, hurry up, Smith, get out before I kill you. Well, it was funny too. You remember that guy, uh, we used to know him, he used to run a, um, a like a, oh, what was it, sort of like a funny shop up in Brisbane. Uh, north of Australia for all yeah, the overseas yeah. listeners. And um, he tried to get um, Jonathan Harris to come uh, for a, like a, uh, you know, like a conference. Now, what do they call them? Expo or something, you know? Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Fan, fan com, fan yeah. whatever. And so he contacted him and, of course, he wasn't offering any money because none of our <laughs> friends had money. And, and you know, Jonathan Harris just goes, well, what are you talking about? You know, like, blah, 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 this is how much I want. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a, it was a fair So You know, I have to pay for the, air, you know, the fair, fair and accommodation and stuff like that. And, you know, and our mate uh, is just like, oh, cr- off crying back to his um, well, Pokemon collection. Well, he was notorious. Jonathan Harris but was no. that's not, I, I, I thought that was really stingy. And, but you know what? You, how many of those people from Lost in Space went on to went on to big careers after that? None. 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 Oh, a guy Williams well, retired and went to Argentina, and where he was huge because of Zorro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> he could ride a horse with a shish kebab, <laughs> a sword with all that beef hanging off it. They would have loved that. He could have done ads. In, but I, in I, Buenos I, Aires. I went and saw Jonathan Harris. He came out here with the robot in 1997 and I went and saw him. Oh, so he did come out here? Yeah. I went and saw him. Oh, no. And it's on YouTube, actually, if you want to well, look it up. On, Just, and can you see you? No. Are you there screaming? There was a lot of people, man. Yeah. There was a lot of people. It was at the Seymour Centre. You know the Seymour Centre yeah, in yeah, Sydney? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. packed. Jam packed, or I don't know how many people does that fit? Three, four thousand. Anyway, it's packed, and I was there with Errol and Jed, yeah, yeah. and we had a joint, and we were late, so we passed it around really quick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I felt like I was going to faint. I'm going, oh my god, oh, you know, because of the quickness. Anyway, we sat down. Yeah. All of a sudden, all this smoke comes out. It's smoke. And you thought it was Jed. <laughs> I thought it was he, Jeannie. I thought I was in the wrong uh, in No, Jed, the, in the Jed wrong put convention. the roach, roach in his pocket and his <laughs> flannelette shirt was on fire. I thought it was Jeannie coming out of the bottle. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, and then all of a sudden you just see these blinking lights and the robot comes out, right? The robot yeah. comes out and he's going, oh, I sense aliens, I sense no. aliens, and it was really sort of like corny. Yeah. And I just went, oh, no. And then I thought, no, you know what? I'm just going to get into this. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, just going to yeah, let yeah. it be for yeah. it. Anyway, yeah. the robot's out there and he's going. And then Smith comes out. Everyone just goes crazy. Yeah, right. Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith, Dr. He goes out. Oh, what are you doing, you bubble-headed booby? And he goes through. He went through all these personalities, you know, that, what are you doing, you bubblehead movie? Yeah. Oh, gold, you know, all that sort of, oh, oh, but I'm your friend. And that was the most Shit. hilarious thing I've ever seen. They did like about 10-minute skit where they did all that. Everyone was killing themselves laughing. It was fantastic. So how long did that go for, though? Like, well, that I went have... for 10 minutes. Yeah. And then he spoke about his life. Oh, oh right. <laughs> for an hour. Yeah, yeah. And I woke up. <laughs> And what was like, the robot? The robot I had was... like popcorn and shit. No, the robot went away. Oh, no. As soon as I saw the robot disappearing into the smoke, you, I thought, oh, fuck, sweet. this is over. We may as well go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and then yeah. he's going, in 1932, I was born. Oh. Yeah. So we, so did he have, he, he had a bit of a career before, um, before Lost in Space, but he wasn't, yeah, I, I, I must admit. I, 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 he had a show. He had a show that where he was a um, he was in charge of a hotel. Mm. It, it's called the Dana Carvey Show. So I can't remember what it's called, but he's in charge of a hotel, yeah. right? And what Don Adams from Get Smart is a hotel detective, and Maybe. if you watch it, yeah. It, they're both playing those characters. They're both that—that that was them practicing their characters. He's going, "Oh, you, you ninny to to Don Adams." Oh, right. Don and, Adams and is going, is "Oh, before. sorry, sorry about that." Blah blah. Yeah, this is before, before they, right. yeah, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which is which is which happens quite a lot because um, people. But think see about it that—a show with Doctor Smith 
and John Adams and Max together. <laughs> it's great. Well, from I'd, what I've I'd, seen, I'd, it's really. I'd good. like to see a show with Doctor Smith and Don Adams uh, on the boat in Mon. Uh, was it M- Monaco complaining about how how. <laughs> Our so life de- is screwed. They're so depressed because they can't get work. I'd like to see a show. Yeah, that's what I would like. I'd like to see a show with Barbara Feldon and Judy. Doing what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing oh what? all right, all right. All right. Uh, now, okay. let's, let's talk about um, some of our favourite episodes. Do you remember the one, I think it's called The Mechanical Men, where the robot becomes the king of all those little midget robots that look exactly like him. Yes. <laughs> and they've all got those those time bombs. They've all got bombs. Yes. And they're just yeah, going yeah, tick, yeah. tick, 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 tick. They're they... suicide bombers. <laughs> yeah. But, um, hey, so oh, imagine having one of those little ones. That would be that would be excellent. Oh, there, there was about 100 of them. My, I wonder who took them all. Oh, <laughs> my favourite. I think my favourite. I, I don't know. I mean, um. I, I always liked the chariot when they went um, and they, they went on that big journey. They had to go somewhere and it was like the wind and the, and the sand had to go across the ocean and it was all the water. And yeah, that's the pilot. Like, what? That's that the pilot? pilot, yeah. Oh, that's the pilot. Oh, that's right. the official pilot. Uh, oh, the official pilot or the yeah. one, yeah, the, the one I've got. Official. Ah, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so all you've got is the unofficial pilot. Is that all you've no, got? No, I got this. The, I got the pilot. I don't think it ever, I'm not sure it ever brought. But I'm not sure. Anyway, not sure. go on. Yeah, but I, I just love I just love that chariot going through the water and you know and just yeah, and then the cyclops, <laughs> that massive cyclops with the big which, rock, which was, <laughs> which was that's from. Um, uh, I'm sure that's from uh, David and Goliath or something, isn't it? No. That cyclops. I've seen that cyclops before as well. Yeah, he lost in space when you were eight. No, no, no. I'm serious. You well, see what that? you saw it before you were eight? Did you? No, later on in another film, I've seen it in oh, something. Yeah. It's like the yeah. Juggernauts or the Gigabytes or whatever they are. You know that that movie. You know with the um, the Gigabytes. Yeah, you, you see them. You see you, you see the monsters all the way through. But anyway, yeah. The so point yeah, is, that is a good episode. The point is, and the jetpack, like you said, the jetpack. If you notice, it's in a few episodes, but it's always the same footage. So you see the father. Yeah. Standing there, or Don, or Don. Sometimes it's Don. I, really? I can't. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don yeah. uses it as well because um, that's why he's so stressed. But oh, um, one of my favorite. I don't know what episode this is from, but I have to find the episode. And it's just a small part in the episode where um, where John is in quicksand. He's in quicksand. He's 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 sinking in quicksand. And Smith is there, and there's a vine. There's trees around. There's vine, <laughs> a vine right next to Smith, right next to him, and he's going, yeah, "Smith, yeah, yeah. the vine, throw the vine. the vine, throw the vine." And Smith's hey. looking at the vine, going, "No, I, can't. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it." Oh, he used to do that thing. He used to do that thing where he just. But like, it's right next to him. He doesn't yeah, even yeah. have to reach for it. He's just oh, got to, no. you know, and he can't do it. And he's going, "Smith, Smith." But remember. <laughs> We've that's talked so about true this to life, before. isn't it? That's so true to life. Well, we've talked know? about this before. Remember, you know, that when you was... when you ri- you ring up, you ring up, and you say, "Oh, I want to cancel this." No, I can't cancel this unless you have this <laughs> this document. I can't do it. I can't. Do- what do you mean you can't do it? I just want to cancel it. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's life. It's, yeah. It, it is actually that is like most most of the time you ring up someone. To do something, Doctor Smith is on the other in some yeah, Dr. incarnation. Doctor Smith, in Dr. Smith is admin. Yeah, that's what it is. That's, that's it's, why it's a metaphor for admin. Yeah, for, for, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> But remember we used to talk about, uh, we've spoken about this in our other podcast, Duke and Leon School of Life, um, about quicksand, how when we were kids there was quicksand in everything. It was in yeah. every single TV show. Yeah. It was even in Skippy, you know, and, and I always thought oh, quicksand is going to – I was scared of quicksand. Is there actually anything – is is there anything – like does it exist? Of course really? it exists. Oh, don't, don't, it does. Sorry, I didn't it's know. It's a real maybe, thing. In Africa maybe or something. It's a yeah. real thing. Not here, not where I live. I've never seen it here. Like, no. 
We have sinkholes. We we had, we had uh, um, there was you know how when you're kids and there's rumors like oh there's a dead body around here and there's this that and some kid will always lead you on this expedition that turns to nothing. There was a rumor that there was a big thing of quicksand and we all went you know five yeah. ten miles yeah. to yeah. have a look at it and it was yeah. just mud. <laughs> it's right, just mud. Yeah. Just mad. What about the other? What about the episode where they go inside the robot? The robot gets gets really big, and they go inside the robot, and they have to fix something inside the robot. But there's a guided missile chasing them because the robot's got this thing that if anything oh, goes it's inside like, it, like white cells, yeah, it's got white cells in <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. So, so what what I, what always freaked me out was if you if you fixed the robot. And so they were fixing him to bring him back to normal size, right? Yeah, yeah. So what? So if you're inside a robot and you're trying to fix it to reduce it to normal size, and you you're successful, if it well, reduced to normal size, wouldn't that mean you'd just be crushed to death? But that, well, that's what happened. They fixed it, and then it yeah. started shrinking, and they had to get out before it shrunk to normal size. So did they, they had an exit strategy? They have already mapped out where the exit catch was? Yeah, but of course hatch Smith, was, But the hatch Smith, was too small. Smith oh. screwed it. <laughs> screwed it all. He screwed I, it all up. I, I do remember this. I do, I do remember this, but only vaguely. So why the fuck, why, why would you take Smith with you? Exactly. Like why would you, why For would the same you, reason. Why would you take that the when he was flo- For the same reason that when he was floating out in space, and they had enough fuel to go to Earth or get yeah. him the, yeah. because he's the star. And it even so, says special guest star Jonathan Harris. And he said in that thing that I went and saw him, he said, oh, and when Owen Allen offered him the role, he said, I want the, I want the starring. And he said, no, we've already got the stars. And he said, well, then I want special guest star. <gasps> he said, but that's only for people who, that, who, who, who uh, just appear one, one episode at a yeah. time. Yeah, and yeah, so, well, yeah, I yeah. wanted every, I wanted every episode and they agreed to that. And he he actually wrote all those bubble-headed boobies. He wrote all his lines apparently. He wrote yeah. every one of his lines, not just bubble-headed booby, but everything he said he wrote and he said Owen Allen came up to him and said, I know what you're doing, keep doing it. And what was he doing? Camping it, just turning yeah, make, the way he was going. Oh, oh, my back, my delicate back. Oh, and, oh, that's oh god, it's bringing back such a yeah. It's just like yeah, 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 yeah. That is so funny. I'm exactly like Don when I when I used to work like you know before I retired and 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 you know I'm doing this professionally, obviously. So before yeah, retired I retired ten years early. Yeah. Um, you know, when someone would say, oh, I can't pick up that box because my back, oh, my back. And I just think, oh, God, I'd be like, Don, I'd go, oh, God, can't we just leave him out in space? God, God, <laughs> hate, hate. Now I know where it's all coming from. They taught me. They taught me to hate. Don taught me to hate. Who just passed away? Just what last? What the beginning? No, the beginning of the year or something. A couple so. of months ago. Yeah. yeah, a couple of months ago. So very sad. Very yeah. sad. But I think the saddest thing. Well, it's not sad, but I think the. The thing that always saddened me a bit was that none of them really went on to bigger and better things. I mean, Billy Mummy, Mummy, Mummy should have been, you know, he 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 should be in Grey's Anatomy, and I well, think that's, that's you know, that's a, you know, I wanted to talk about that as well. I used to hate shows that had kids in them when I was a kid. I used yeah. to hate them. I used mm. to. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, I, I just never did. But Billy Mummy was the one kid. That I really liked. Oh, I, I liked. He was Will pretty Robinson. stressed out too. He was stressed out as well, wasn't he? You know, I, I like running, Will Robinson. running out of you know, running out of um, uh, running out of air. There's no fuel. You know, his mother's like the, the age of his well, grandmother. Was, you know, his sister's got a monkey hanging off her waist. <laughs> like she talks to a monkey with stupid ears. He's got a crush like, on his older sister. Oh, she, Judy, she's. Yeah, how does that work? So, hey, were Judy and Don ever were they, were they married? They weren't married. Well, were I they? saw him um, at a toy fair, <laughs> and he was there. And you know what he said? He said, "People used to ask me if uh, why didn't Judy and I get together?" And I said, "We did during the commercials." 
that, that, that was his big one-liner. <laughs> he was tall, man. He was, like, really big. He was a big guy. And um, and John was bigger than him. So, yeah, I, I know. But I want I to know. talk about the mum for a sec. And the mum. Yeah. She was like the typical, I guess, American mother of the time, you know. She was yeah. a doting wife. She was a doting mother. The, the moral compass. The moral compass. Yes. But compare her to the mothers of today, okay? <laughs> she, she had to shield her kids from monsters every episode. There'd be some monster go, oh, and she'd be going, oh, Will, Will, Penny, Penny, and jumping on them and trying to save and them. And now, and now. They can't even shield their kids from the internet. And now it's like, what do you mean I can't leave my children in the car? I just went to the casino for an hour. Yeah. What uh, do you uh, mean? Uh, Why? Uh, Why? Why? Well, I'm the villain. I'm, I'm, I'm the victim here. I'm not the villain. That's put, it. Put, put your hand in the frying pan and I'll film it and put it on TikTok. It'll be funny. <laughs> Yes. Well, motherhood has certainly changed, I must so say. So she that. was June, a good mum. June, June, June Lockhart. June Lockhart, although she was a little bit old maybe. I don't know. It's it's always a bit scary when you have an old mum because, you you know, you – She could die you, any minute. Well, you, well, you walk into the bedroom and, and and you don't know if she's asleep or she's dead. You don't know. Like, mum, mum. Oh, oh, Especially oh, if she sorry. sleeps with her eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, don't do that. God damn it. Wear, wear sunglasses. God. But look, the robot. Scared, scared the shit out of me. The robot uh, spawned millions, millions of toys. All different sizes. All different sizes, all different shapes. And oh, I've, I've got about five of them. Like in 97 uh, yeah. when they were celebrating the 30 yeah. and 30th anniversary of the takeoff, the liftoff, they – Trendmasters came out with all these toys. I bought them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's keyring versions. There's big ones, 12-inch, you know, talking yeah. ones. Yeah, They're I know. still producing them, but the thing that's worth the yeah. most is yeah. the Jupiter 2. Did you buy a Jupiter 2? Uh, I'm not sure. There was a model, and you could do all the interior, I think, wasn't there? And Yeah, um, but this one was um, – anyway, they had this Jupiter 2, and that's that's worth – The original, like, original – in what they brought out when the series The Trendmasters – the Trendmasters yeah. one is worth heaps, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's all this Japanese stuff that came out in the '60s. Lost, Lost in Space was huge. It was massive, yeah. massive, massive show, and I just love it. It's, it's my favorite TV show of all uh, time. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's up there with a whole bunch that are favorites. I think um, I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, like what? Oh, Get Smart. I think Get Smart's always, always, always yeah, been Get there. Smart. Um, yeah, Get Smart. Yeah. I think uh, – no, there's, there's so many. Hogan's Heroes. Oh, which which brings me to the last thing before we go. Guest stars. They had heaps of guest stars, as everyone did. But, like, when you look at the list on Wiki, um, like, most of them you can't – you know, like, who, who are these people? Like, a few of them sort of pop up. But, you know, it was 1965, so, you know, yeah. the, they were popular then. But they have your favourite – your favourite as a guest star. I can't, I, I'm not sure where, where he I, – I, I, maybe I have a recollection of it. But anyway, Werner Kepler. Really? Yes. From he's Hogan's your, Heroes. He's, Colonel he's, Clink. He, he's your favourite. You love him. I don't him. remember him. In, um, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's it's on the wiki, so I don't know which episode. It, it might be worth for a ne- ne- another episode. We might well, do we're just going to have to look this DJ, weekend. DJ, what is it, DJ Jeston or whatever it is of the whole episode of, of, of look, Werner Look, just Kepler. tell your third your wife. Your favourite, your favourite. Tell your, your third f- wife, say Duke's coming over this weekend. We're having a sleepover. We're playing <laughs> Lost in every episode of Lost in Space. And she'll go, yeah. why? And then you say, because we're looking for Werner Kempler. Yeah, and I'll say you don't have to cook because we're just getting KFC. Yeah, <laughs> you might you might have to call the ambulance. <laughs> we just need you here for nursing <laughs> purposes. <laughs> All right. Well, what a what All a right. what a what a great trip down memory lane. Lost uh, in space. What a great show! What, what what a great show! Just yeah, looked yeah, good. Yeah. The dialogue was good. Every, they don't make shows like that anymore. And you know, know what? I think if it had gone four to episode to series four, five, six, seven, it probably would have turned out shit like happy days you know and um still i, I would have liked to have seen what happened to it i, I would have liked to see how judy developed um anyway <laughs> anyway thank you all for listening 
Thank you. Buy Thanks. the merch. Get get just go out there on Facebook this Marketplace and buy something. No, buy something from Lost in Space. Buy a yeah, little buy robot. Lost in Space. Buy a little robot. Buy, or a, little buy robot a little Judy from doll. Lost in space. If you buy a Judy doll, send it to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, if you buy a blow up Judy doll, send it to him. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you for listening to Retro – no, what's it called now? Um, I can't remember. I can't, I can't even remember, remember what this podcast is called. Retro Time Machine. Retro and, Time Machine. And we'll be it's back very, very soon. Unless we get cancelled. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's, that's what I wanted to say as well before we went. There's an episode where they oh, – I think it's that episode where they tried to save Smith and or where they had to save Smith and they got – with just before the Earth's atmosphere, yeah, and they got in contact with Earth, and they're saying, "This is a Jupiter two. And they go, "On Jupiter two, you're but you're lost in space." And he's, "Oh, yeah. we're back now." And then they started drifting away, oh. and and he's saying, um, "He's saying we're drifting away. Lock us in. Lock us in on your blah blah blah." And he's going, "Oh, we can't. You're too far away." And then the guy just says to him, "Good luck." <laughs> as, as they're drifting off. So that's what I'm saying to our audience. <laughs> Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> <laughs>